All right, you're good to go, man. So, yeah, I've seen the change my mind stuff with Steven Crowder. Is it supposed to be more argumentative or funny or just a discussion? Well, or it's, what? it's whatever your thoughts are. You know, if you, if you don't think you can change my mind or if you agree, <laughs> then uh, we can talk about that instead. Same with you, Z. Uh, you said you agree with Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. Why, why is that? Why do you agree? Because, like, when I think of a feminist, I think <laughs> I'm not trying to be, like, what's the word? Yeah, I'm not trying to... Uh, I'm trying to tread lightly here, but when I think of feminists, I think of, well, vegan. And yeah. Is, vegan, that a, is that a good or a bad thing? It's whatever. I mean, yeah. you vegan, you vegan. It's whatever you want to eat. But if you're drinking cow milk, you're going against what you say you are. <coughs> yeah. I agree. Yeah. Um, do you drink milk or consume yeah. cheese? You do? Yeah. So uh, how much do you know about the dairy industry and what happens to cows uh how much i know i don't know too much so i'm not gonna speak on it but i know it's not some 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 forms are the best some are not so what do you think would make one form of uh animal exploitation better than another uh like say they have a mother cow right yeah that has children uh -huh. And they take all the milk out the mother cow that the children cannot drink. You feel me? So yeah. that's what I think about. That's the, those are the bad forms. Some forms yeah. let the children drink first, and then they get the scraps, pretty much. Do you think that uh, a cow has to be pregnant first before they can produce milk? Like they have to be pregnant and then give birth? Ah. Or can they? Do they just produce milk? Like, what do you? Which one do you think it is? I would think they had to give birth first. Yeah. Yeah. So let's 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 take a human example, for instance, right? Mm -hmm. Would you have an issue with like, uh, say, an alien from like another planet, right? Yeah. They come down to Earth, and they're super intelligent, mm -hmm. and uh, they're way smarter than us. They have better technology. And they take human females, and they artificially like impregnate them, and then they steal their baby, and then they kill the baby, and then they steal the milk from the mothers. Would that be okay or not? No, no, no. Why is that? Why do you think it wouldn't be okay to do that to humans? Nobody has the right to to imprison and do another another life form that way. Yeah. Now you're sounding like a vegan. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I believe. Yeah, that's why I'm, that's why I'm against um, dairies because I don't think that animals should be treated like commodities. Yeah, most definitely. I, I believe beings, that too, but you know, because they are commodified mm -hmm. and they're treated like objects instead of like living animals, like dogs. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So um, the people like. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? On this whole thing? Yeah. Uh, I, drink, I don't drink milk. Well, I, I drink nut milk. Uh, so I'm, I'm an almond milk. Yeah. I'm a, okay. I'm an almond milk guy uh, for the most part. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a cheese guy um, just because it's... It's extremely like convenient when it comes to like adding protein to a diet and also like it tastes good, you know, that sort of thing. As far as I think listen, like I you said seeds or what Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Cheese. Uh okay. no, but but listen, I I definitely feel for I think specifically like cows like there've been you know, there're documentaries about the the, I don't know how you'd call it, the, the dairy industry, that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> and I definitely recognize that a lot of it is really messed up. And I've been like, there's a drive that I make pretty often. I made it probably like four or five times this last year, but you drive through Amarillo, Texas, which is at the very, it's the very north of, of Texas. And there is this cow farm that is like, it's unbelievable. One, like, it smells bad for like a mile. Yeah. Because And that's just the conditions that it's in. And they have to smell that every day. Yeah, and so I definitely, every time I see it, I'm like, man, this is actually miserable. This it's is like awful. A, almost like a concentration. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's bad. Um, no, I, I agree. <clears throat> I, I, I will say, I think that on a, on a legislative 
in a legislative way, there's definitely a lot more that, that can be done. But as far as making a lot of what the American diet, which a lot of about a lot about the American diet can change. Um, there are a lot of things that I do not subscribe to when it comes to the American diet. Um, but but there are a lot of things. If we're going to talk broader, animal products, um, there are a lot of things that could change, should change that. But in order to do that from an uneducated perspective on it. You know way more about this than I do, I'm certain of it. Um, it would become unaffordable for most, especially people you're on a college campus, most of these people to consume any sort of, probably, probably what ends up being 60, 50% of yeah. actually what they eat every day. I, I, I actually agree with that because the dairy industry is heavily subsidized by the U.S. government. Uh, there was one study done uh, that said without <coughs> subsidies, one pound of hamburger would cost thirty dollars. Whoa, that's insane! Yeah. So uh, I agree. Yeah, you can with go to Walmart and get it for like four or five. The legislative perspective, right, from the top-down level, there's a lot that needs to be done. My question to you would be: Is it does it make sense to pay money to perpetuate these industries and then work? like at the federal level to try to end it when you're also contributing to it you know does that make sense so uh, so asking for a top-down change whenever you're not willing to put effort to for a bottom up yeah. um like you keep paying for cheese but you want the government to, to end dairy subsidies yeah i think that that opens up a deeper discussion about do you believe that animal life is equal to human life Okay. Um, because then, all of a sudden, you're not talking. You're not talking about the, the the kind of the two beliefs would be either life is life, or there is actually a purpose for for animal life to to sustain and okay. and to build up, or I don't know exactly what you'd say, but to take care of humans. I see where you're going with that. Do you think that in order to not purchase like cheese? or milk from a cow that causes them to be sexually violated and have their children taken away from them and also killed? Do you think that we have to believe that cows are equal to humans in order not to purchase those products and perpetuate them? Not, not necessarily. Not okay. necessarily. Yeah, that's, that's what I think. <coughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to like one-up anybody, but I'm just trying to... Well, yes. Yeah, the next is the progression of that thought. Yeah. Yeah. What do you, what do you think, Z? I would. I think that if you would want to change it, you would have to see all life is life, almost. But. So you would say that that a person would have to believe that a cow's life is equal to human life for them to go vegan. <laughs> For them to go vegan? Right. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Why Why do you think that? Because vegans care about, like, not eating animals, right? Uh -huh. And not eating what they, pro like, produce, right? Is that right? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. No, it's no animals yeah. and no animal products. Okay. And some, pe some vegans will even go, like, no, no honey or anything like that. That's yeah. Right. And I think there's a little bit of wiggle room there when it comes to vegans. I think I might be wrong. Yeah, I have not. I think, yeah. yeah. Well, most vegans don't consume honey. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. And I think to follow through with that, you would have to believe all life is equal. But, um, yeah. Some, and, you know, uh, I, I, I agree with you up to an extent. If yeah. there's not a need for survival, then I believe that cows should be treated equally to humans in regards to their right to live, you know, in their regards to move around freely Quality. and not be, you know, confined in a place that smells like poop all the time, Yeah, you know. But uh, I don't, even as a vegan, I, that's fine, don't worry about it. Even as a vegan, like, I'm still kind of speciesist to where if it came down to like choosing your life or your life or the life of a cow, I would rather each one of y'all live than the cow, uh -huh. yeah. you know? So I guess I can't say completely that I see like animal life equal to human life. 
But you see, but you see it as valuable enough. Yeah, but it's valuable enough not to buy the products that I know will will harm those animals. Yeah. Because I know I don't need them in order to survive. Yeah. So you know, genuine gen question. Yeah. What do you think about like clothing? You know where, you, and, I, and I know some things where it's like you can you can shear a sheep without killing it. You know, yeah. like totally. But whenever it comes to like living conditions, you, so you kind of you probably eliminate the the death side of things a little bit more. But yeah. then there's a quality of life. Yeah, but what are your thoughts on that? Veganism, you know, it's veganism isn't about being perfect, and there there are some negative negative connotations to the word vegan. Um, my thoughts on that are is in the wool industry, right? Those those animals, the sheep, they are they've been selectively bred for thousands of years. Yeah. To produce way more wool than their body needs, it's crazy. so they're prone to overheating. Yeah. And I think when a person buys like a pair of wool <coughs> socks or like a wool sweater or something, that it contributes to um, it contributes to uh, these animals being bred into existence in the future, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. yeah, I love you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and so I think that's wrong. You know, I think it's uh, I think it's wrong to cause those animals to be bred into existence. Yeah. What about because they suffer from overheating. Yeah. Oh, uh, how do you feel about like leather? Leather? I I see leather as a co-product to uh, to like cow flesh, you know, which people call beef. Yeah. It's also a product of violence. Yeah. And, you know, there are people online that argue like, well, you know, leather is environmentally friendly compared to like the plastic vegan leather. Because yeah. I, I have like vegan leather boots. Yeah, and, I got a, stuff I got like a book that. made out of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it looks almost exactly the same. Feels it works. It feels awesome. similar. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, is even from an environmental perspective, like leather is processed with all these chemicals. Yeah. that are just as bad for the environment or worse than vegan leather. Yeah. So because leather is a co-product of the uh, the beef industry, I think if I pay money to buy leather shoes or clothing, that it will cause a cow to die. And if I cause that cow to die, then I've violated their rights. And they have a right to live just like I do. Yeah. You know, especially when there's no duress, you know, to where it's not a matter of life and death and we don't have to choose. What do you think about that? What do I think about what the cows dying yeah, yeah. for leather? Uh, I would think it would have to change due to we have like multiple different synthetics that's been made, yeah. been made, such as. I forgot what it's called. It's called like vinyl, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I would think that we have to push those more out instead sure. of uh, messing with sheep, cows, whatever, whatever, like yeah. snakes, stuff like that. I agree. Yeah. I agree with you completely. And that's, that's why, you know, a lot of people here are vegan and they think it's just about diet. You yeah. know, like you don't eat animals and you don't eat the secretions of animals. And uh, it, it goes further than that to clothing and entertainment, experimentation, but also a mental change to where we look at an animal like a dog or a cat or a cow and we don't see them as objects. Yeah. You know, or, you know, we see them as individuals that have their own lives and they, they want to live. Do you think it's it's good to look at an animal like a, a cow, a pig, a chicken, or a fish as individuals that are worthy um, of life and shouldn't have their rights like in French? Um, so I, I'm a hunter and I'm a fisher and so I've, yeah. I've killed animals myself and I've, Same here. yeah, <clears throat> so so I, I actually, I'm no longer a hunter or fisher. I, feel, <laughs> I figured. <laughs> uh, I, and I think. Well, then, okay, then you'll. That probably plays a role in why you feel the way that you do. I think that that I've been able to understand animal life um, more because of hunting and because of fishing and stuff like that, and being able to understand and see animals where they where they're supposed to be. 
yeah. you know what I'm saying, where they're supposed to be. And so I think, I think yes, an, animals should be treated well, the quality of life stuff, everything that we're talking about. Sorry, I'm not trying to break anything. Um, but to the degree that, or I guess up to the point where, say, the hunter can feed his family. <clears throat> um, and even the dude doesn't have to hunt or doesn't have to get meat to feed his family, but I believe that like there's there is a quality of life for me and for my family that that can be supported by that. And I think hunting and fishing of all the stuff we're talking about is the most ethical way to acquire it. Um, is to the most ethical way to acquire food um, from animals. Let me ask you this. <clears throat> I think that there is an ethical way to to kill an individual, uh, be it an animal or a human animal, um, that doesn't want to die. Do you think that you can ethically kill someone who doesn't want to die? A person, no. Okay. But I, I, th I think I, I differentiate between uh, human and animal. What uh, what difference? between a human and an animal uh, makes it okay to kill an animal but not a human like the deer for instance what, what makes it okay to shoot a deer and eat them but not shoot a human and eat them the intelligence yeah and uh, what about intelligence do you think makes it that the trait to where it's uh, okay to kill an animal but not a human? Um, because humans, we all have been told, like, everyone's equal between us. And animals, they probably don't have that, like, that thought process or they probably can't even think like that. Okay, yeah. Let me ask you this. Now, there's a human, right, that was less intelligent than we are. Yeah. Say, like, my cousin. He's uh, severely mentally disabled. Yeah. There are pigs that know their name, and he doesn't know his name. So there are actually animals that could outperform my cousin uh, on intelligence tests. Mm. Do you think it would be ethical to eat a mentally disabled person because they lack the intelligence that we do? No. Or that you do? No. Yeah. So then why would that be a justification to kill and consume animals? Would you just acknowledge that it's not? I mean, I just always don't see it right to kill a human, another human. Yeah. And animals have been hunted for years since the beginning, anyways. But I'm not gonna lie, you did give me stumped here a little. <laughs> you gave me stumped here a little bit. It's okay. I can't answer that either. Yeah. You know, I I get to the conclusion that intelligence. If someone is less intelligent than me, then I don't have the right to, to kill them based off of their lower intelligence. And that's, I view animals as someone's, not some things, you know. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll wrap this up. I know you guys are busy. Y'all been super cool to hang out with me. Um, and I've enjoyed this conversation a lot. With the, it's been going on for years. There are a lot of things that are unethical that have gone on for yeah, since true, the dawn of time very true. you know murder rape yeah. it's been happening since we were cavemen yeah but you know i would say that the length of time that something's been happening especially like our treatment of, of animals and killing them for food when it's unnecessary yeah. i don't think that makes it ethical if our value is to not cause unnecessary suffering to animals yeah so are you guys interested in maybe going vegan to uh, to reduce harm to animals? What do you what do you what are your thoughts on that? Me personally, I'm, I'm not. but I can't. I don't like. I never wanted to go hunting yeah. because I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't bring myself to do another yeah. animal like that. No, I, I didn't like hunting either. Man. And I'm not trying to force y'all to do anything. You know, like. I just want to help people live more in line with their values. Yeah. And before I knew what veganism was, like I had, I had no idea that my choices were affecting animals as negatively as they were. 
because yeah. I just didn't know, yeah. you know. And if if someone were to have this conversation with me when I was 24 before I went vegan, yeah. I would have had the same responses, I bet, you know. So, what about you? Are you uh, are you interested in uh, in going vegan? No. Um, I will say I think the conversation has had me thinking more not about veganism, but even like. <clears throat> just looking into ethical sourcing and things like that because I, I I still like I think where we differenti- differentiate is is the quality of life um, yeah. <clears throat> and so where, where I do stand differently with that I do believe that that all life should be treated well up to treat no treated well always um, but then up to using I would say like meat uh, secretions is I think what you yeah. said which I understand that's a, that's an overall term um, it's a good term for it uh, for the benefit of, of me and my family yeah. um, what if what if those products make your family sicker in the process of also <laughs> um, well, I would say like like dairy is not like it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty common knowledge yeah that dairy is actually not good for people yeah. <laughs> um, like it's pretty common knowledge, um, so it's like kind of one of those. That's really the the main thing I'm thinking about, if yeah. I'm being honest. Uh, <coughs> that's yeah, that's kind of the main thing um, as far as cheese and stuff like that, because it's like it tastes good. Like, dude, cheese what tastes, you, cheese what tastes do you good, think, man. Uh, but as far as yeah, it being I, good, I agree. good for you or whatever, like. What do you think makes sourcing animal products ethical? Because you said there are some animal products that you think can be sourced ethically. Um, so I would say, like, like uh, my wife's dad um, pays a guy to, to take care of cows. And he, he won't do the hundreds, hundreds of cows. He'll, he'll buy three a yeah. year and take care of them then. And, and it beca- he's like a retired dude. Who'd... Do you think your choice to, to buy uh, animal flesh from that establishment could possibly displace someone else's choice to buy animal flesh from that establishment. Oh my God. Displace meaning like uh, one bad there's and one good supply, breaks even. Right? Say there's like a hundred hundred pieces of animal flesh. Yeah. Farm, and you buy one. Well, there's 99 left, right? So if there's another person that wanted to buy from that farm, then they would have to buy from the one that smells like poop in Amarillo, right. Texas. Right, gotcha. You know, kind of get what I'm saying there? Yeah, no, I do. I do. Because it's, you know, with the population it is, size in America, 349 million people, not everybody can be, if they buy animal products, 99% of animal products come from factory farms. That's, uh, that's, that's a given. That what you're mentioning is in that one percent, and whenever someone buys from that, it actually eliminates the opportunity for another person to buy from a more what you would call ethical farm. I, I disagree that it's ethical. Okay. Yeah. Um, do I think that it would it would take away someone else's opportunity? No, because I think it's it's a market that hasn't been yeah. that hasn't been uh, tapped into to its fullest potential. I don't think. Sure. It's, I don't so think there's it's room near for expansion. You would say. That's that's what I would say. Yeah. yeah. And then if the next question is what happens whenever it's fully capped out, I think that's another discussion. Yeah, because at some point it'll turn into one of those, you know, Amarillo. Yeah. Amarillo. Yeah. <laughs> but what is it? Uh, so I gave the example of uh, you drive by and you just see, I mean, dude, like probably thousands of cows in, in like a football field. Um, and it smells bad for a mile. Like, like it's just death and rot. Yeah. And that's, it's, the, it's really like whenever you hear him talking about unethical farming or this sort of thing, it's that. Yeah. Like yeah, that okay. is in in my what? head. That's the archetype sure. of what I'm thinking. That's about. worse. I think that's more unethical than the farms he sources from. But as a vegan, I believe that it's unethical to yeah. kill any animal that doesn't want to die. Yeah. You know, because on the sanctuaries that I volunteer at, um, Sunset Farm Sanctuary in Cove, Arkansas, um, the cows—they're just like dogs. Like they really are. The, you call their name, they'll come run over to you. They wag their tails. You know, cows can play with, like, balls. You can kick a ball and they'll knock it back to you. You know, and the thought to me of, like, even if I gave them the best life possible, like, if, it, if that farm was, like, the animal sanctuary I volunteer at, you know, to take a captive bull pistol and, like, blow their brains out while they're enjoying their life, I think that's fucked up. 
And that's 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 all I got. I would reflect on that. Is is it ethical <laughs> to um, to to kill someone who doesn't want to die? And do I want to cause the least amount of suffering to animals that I can? It's not. It's decent. But I, I appreciate it, guys. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Yeah